In the previous lecture, we discussed the electromagnetic spectrum and we looked at the different types of electromagnetic waves. Now let's look at the following example that will deal with the electromagnetic spectrum. So find the wavelength given by lambda of a, a radio wave with a frequency of 3000 hertz, b, visible light with a frequency of 4 times 10 to the 4 14 hertz and see an x-ray electromagnetic wave with a frequency of 1 times 10 to the 18 hertz. So we're assuming that the electromagnetic waves are propagating through empty space and that means the velocity, the speed, is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So let's begin with part A. So in each part we essentially want to use the following equation. We know that if we take the product of the wavelength and the frequency of our electromagnetic wave propagating through empty space, that is equal to the speed c of our electromagnetic wave. So we take this equation in each case and we rearrange it and solve for our wavelength. So the wavelength is equal to the speed of our electromagnetic wave divided by the frequency. So in part A, we have 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 3000 hertz. The seconds cancel and we're left with 1 times 10 to the 5 meters. Now in part B, we follow the same exact procedure. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 4 times 10 to the 14 hertz. The seconds cancel and we're left with 7.5 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. And finally in part C, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 1 times 10 to the 18 hertz. The seconds cancel and we're left with 3 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. So, we see that radio waves have the largest wavelength while our x-rays have the smallest wavelength in this case. And, and the visible light spectrum essentially has wavelengths in the middle in between these two values.